What is up heroes, this is Midnight Zero, and welcome back to Let's Play Zero Escape Virtue's Last Reward Blind. In the last episode, we got the Luna ending, and oh man, was it a heart-wrenching ending. It was honestly probably my favorite up until this point. And in this episode, well, you can see just how full this flowchart is. We've really discovered most of what this game has to offer. And at this point, we're going to start off by checking out this other little branch, likely a game over, given how the other timelines seem to go. And then we'll jump into what I think is going to be our final timeline, the true ending where hopefully we get to see how things really resolve. I'm pretty eager. It's been a little bit since I played the game, uh, just because life got busy and I didn't have the time, but here we are. So this is the usual, we're gonna play our AB game. Last time we chose Ally, Phi pressured us because, well, we saw Luna waiting outside and we thought that she's the murderer who killed everyone, and we were like, wait, she's gonna totally kill us, why else would she show up? She's gonna try to betray us, yada yada yada. And now we're actually going to choose betray because in this timeline we distrust Luna. However, of course, we actually trust Luna. We always trust Luna. Luna's best. <laughs> so, here we go. Betray it is. Let's see what horrible outcome we have after this. I mean, that previous episode where I like had to betray Luna twice was, you know, that, that hurts. This one, I can only imagine, is gonna hurt that much more. Luna! Where's Luna? I leapt out of the door and ran toward the AB room. I thought she'd entered, but... She's gone. Where'd she go? That's odd. We came out the moment the gates opened. There's no way she could have left already. Then... There it was. No. She didn't take it? That doesn't make sense. Why would she show up just when we're about to vote? There was no reason for her to come here if she was just going to default. Yep, so the results will show. Right, the results. Yeah, let's go have a look. Oh boy. The, uh, the gut-wrenching results. <laughs> Single t Just for Phi. And there you have it. We're at 10, whereas Luna's at 5. Since Luna didn't vote, she got set to ally automatically. And the other six got penalized. You know, flashback to the, the, penal, the penalty. Five of them are dead already, and Quark's bracelet is off. That means all those penalties are meaningless. Yeah. We still don't know why Luna showed up, though. There's no reason to come here just to abstain. I can only guess at her reasons. But I'm sure it was part of some plan. A plan for what? Who knows? So, what do we do now? Whatever Luna's scheming, we still managed to get 9 BP. Do you want to leave? No, we can't. We still don't know if Quark is safe. No way am I leaving before we find him. Fi's like, alright, well, suit, you or suit yourself, I'm gonna head out. I agree. I hoped you'd say that. Isn't this the same as last time so far? So, are you going to stay? Huh, of course. Let's get moving. I feel like this is the same as last time. She spun around and headed for the cyan door. I followed on her heels.
checking the various rooms. I mean, we know we're going to find her in the garden, right? I don't remember stopping by the Gollum Bay earlier, though. Just refreshing us on all of the deaths that have occurred throughout this timeline. We still haven't figured out what exactly happened while we were asleep, right? In the, the security room. Those moments where Fi was unchecked. Crap! He's not here either. This is the last room. Well, last room we can get into. And we haven't seen Luna either. Yeah. Where the heck did she go? We were standing there, trying to decide what to do next, when we heard a familiar voice echo through the facility. The number 9 door has been opened! Oh my goodness! That has to be Quark, right? It will remain open for 9 seconds. What? No, that's not possible. What's not possible? But she only bit her lip and said nothing. Then all too soon, it was over. Yeah, I mean, nine seconds, there's no way you're getting back in time. The number nine door is closed. This ends the nonary game, and then of course they tell, you know, happily ever after, right? What? What just happened? It's all over now, isn't it? We're stuck here. Forever. We should go back to the Flore warehouse. I need to know if the door actually opened or not. With that, she was off. Yeah. With a sigh, I turned to follow. We can't just look at the door and tell if it was opened or not. True. But the projection should tell us. What? Luna and Quark escaped? Wait, what? Well, first of all, when when was this screen ever a thing in the game? I don't think we've ever seen this before, but it says status, game finished, result, escape complete, participant successful, Luna and Quark. How interesting. I guess, theoretically, Luna can escape without any fear of actually being harmed by the bracelet, right? Because she's a golem. So I think that's maybe how she was able to escape. She also, I guess, theoretically doesn't need to slash want to escape. So maybe her being considered successful means that her job was accomplished, right? It's not necessarily that she escaped, but Quark definitely escaped. So it would seem. Why? How? Almost as if on cue, the screen flickered. And Zero Junior appeared. <laughs> well, well, well. Long time no Zero. <laughs> Remember your old pal, Zero? You... I'm guessing somebody's hoping for an explanation about what the diddlyo just happened. <laughs> Because we're such great friends, I've decided to make an exception to send from on high to give you the 411. Aren't you happy? So, what's this explanation you've got? Well, let's start with Little Quirk. He was given an anesthetic that put him to sleep. I do kind of like that we're at least getting some degree of answers, right? And a lot of these other game overs were like, wait, what? And then we don't really learn anything after people escape. But this is one of the few where we actually get a chance to learn about what happens after the door closes. While he was out, Luna carried him through to the other side of the number nine door. But how did she open the door? Luna 
With Quark's bracelet, <laughs> you silly bunny. It was still in the infirmary, remember? Luna just stopped over there and picked it up. So I was right. Quark had 9 BP when the second round ended. Yep. But didn't he get penalized after the third round? Yes, he did. <laughs> but a penalty cannot take away your points, just your life. The needles popped out and so on, but the points stayed the same. So Luna took Quark to the door. Of course she knows where he is, right? Because she has access to all the cameras in the facility. And since her bracelet was already off, she wouldn't have suffered the penalty. No, but it wouldn't have mattered anyway. Oh, right. She's a golem. Alright, I think my tale is through. Okay, well, I've got some questions for you, buddy. Bah! <laughs> Not you. Well, good thing you don't have questions for V. That guy's a jerk. This isn't the alphabet. Sigma's tired of these uh, puns. You must be feeling pretty good if you're able to joke around like that. I mean, six people just died here. Eh, it's not really a big deal. That's just how you humans are, after all. So long as you make it, nothing else matters. Am I right? No, you're wrong. Don't screw with us. It's cool, it's cool. I know you've got to act tough. I mean, you chose Betray. That means you don't trust Luna, right? Figures. She's a golem. She might even be a murderer. That's why you were planning to leave her here and bone out, wasn't it? You see? It's all about you. Haven't you thought about how sad you've made Luna? What? Well, it looks like my time here is just about all used up. Wait! I still have questions for... No, I won't wait. I don't like waiting. I waited once, and some half-witted reptile got the better of me because of it. Mm, that's maybe a reference I just don't get at the moment. After that, I learned to make sure to value my time. Oh, is that um maybe like a reference to like the tortoise and the hare? Oh, it is, it is. The tortoise and the hare. Alrighty then, I'll see you when I see you. Have a nice trader. How lovely. For a few long moments, Fi and I just stared at the spot on the wall where Zero had disappeared. Where had Quark been? Who had given him an anesthetic, and why? We had no idea who'd killed everyone. And Zero Senior's identity, as well as the purpose of the Nonary game, remained a mystery. As for our futures... What are we supposed to do now? I hadn't meant to say the words out loud, but there they were. The tortoise won because he kept going even when it looked hopeless. I think we should do the same. We've got plenty of time, after all. We'll give the dead the closest thing to a funeral we can manage. 
And when that's done, we'll start looking. Even if I never leave this place, I'll figure out why we were here. I swear it. I looked at the fire in her eyes and nodded. If nothing else, at least we had a purpose. I can appreciate that determination coming from Fi. But alas, it's a game over. <laughs> so that fire will inevitably fizzle out. All right, that was the, wow. We just overwrote the same or the first file or the last file remaining that had not had any of the true endings uh, or like character specific com endings completed. And with that, there's only one timeline left. That's pretty exciting, right? So in this timeline, just to refresh, right? We initially chose to go into the chromatic doors. We went into the cyan door, I believe, with Alice. I think, in the crew quarters. And afterwards, we chose to betray. And after betraying, we go into the chromatic doors again. And in this timeline, we go into the red door, which is the control room. And that's where we see all of the footage, we pass out, all that jazz. And then we go this way after choosing to ally. We managed to stop Phi by spitting out some uh, Latin, and then we have the whole idea of who planted the bomb, and we find out it's Dio. And then we know where some of the bomb locations are, so we ran to the crew quarters to deactivate bomb number three. So let's jump to that. I think in this timeline everybody's alive so far. Yeah, even Dio, who I think was just anesthetized. I still have my note sheet with the various bomb codes. So that should hopefully prove useful. Okay. So, what do we do? Get the input device ready. Alright, done. All hooked up and everything. How many minutes do we have left? Well, they'll go off when the door is open, so... 21 minutes. That means we have 7 minutes per bomb. That includes travel time, though. Yeah, which is not a lot of time. Bomb number 2 is in the control room on floor B. And bomb number 1 is also on floor B, with the garden. So, um, ugh. we just need to hurry, right? Yeah, I was gonna say, don't count on using all of that time you have, right? Just do everything as quickly as you can. And we know, obviously, as the player, that there's a bomb number zero. So what are we supposed to do? I mean, you do have some sort of plan, right? Well, it's not like I don't have one. Then stop being so mysterious and tell me. What the heck am I supposed to do? You need to make a jump. To jump? Yeah. To another world. Another history. I remember this talk. I... I can't. You didn't just guess that Dio said the bombs, did you? You knew it because you remembered it happening in another history, didn't you? Yeah, I did, but that's... I mean... You just have to do that again. So you're saying I need to go to another history and get the password out of Dio somehow? Doesn't have to be another one, it could be this one. Just go back to the past and question it. Then again, if you do that, you might end up changing things so you don't end up here. That would mean you couldn't deactivate the bombs in this history. So you have to come back to this exact moment, or... Ugh, darn it! This is so confusing. Well, don't think about it then. We don't have time anyway. Just jump. Okay, okay. I get it. See you later then. Are you insane? You're talking about transporting myself across space and time. I know we've already heard this conversation, but it is funny to go through again. Also, why should I have to do everything? Can't you jump too? My jumps happen suddenly, out of the blue. I can't control them. 
Neither can I. Hmm. That's a problem. Alright, consider this. Maybe we've already jumped from another history to this one. But our memories of that history got damaged or something. We forgot most of what happened in that other timeline. If we can remember even a little bit, though. Anyway, it's just a hypothesis. Are you saying I might know it already? And I just have to try and remember it? Yeah. I just... I feel like we know. So? Anything? We need the bomb password. Do you remember hearing it in another timeline? I stare down at the input device. Password. Password. The bomb password. Actually, I did remember it. I had heard it. Hype music. Initiate. Alright, so yeah, I've still got my handy dandy notes here. Still a little salty, I had to go back and <laughs> write these down and the game just didn't keep track of them for me. But, I'll live, I promise, guys. There we go. What? That should be bomb number three. LXQ, LHL, NMR. Let me try this again. Maybe I did the wrong thing. Did I do LXG by accident or something? Oh man. So that's what I have as bomb number three. Maybe that's not it though. Let's try what I have written down for bomb number two. Okay. So then I can try what I have written down for bomb number one, which is BQZ. RGJ DXR Lovely! <laughs> this is so wonderful. <laughs> Alright, what I have written down for bomb zero is LXA QNS GDQ Alright, um... We already used the first gate and second gate passwords, I think. I could try Jumpy Doll. I don't remember if we used that or not already. I think we already used that on the computer. But, nope. Lovely, we're gonna get the exact same ending. Why is the bomb not the same? I don't, I don't know. We're just gonna warp back. I wrote them down. I wrote them down when we got them, because they're in the various endings. Bomb number zero deactivation code, right? Where's the one where it's uh, bomb number three? I don't remember. This is the Luna Game Overs. Was it this one? No. How about over here? That one, no. Director's office, bomb number one. Okay, what about over here? All right, old woman's ID card. What about over this way? No, okay, what about over this way? Bomb number three, deactivation code. Alright, just to like, so you guys can see whatever sanity I have, like, I really just want to see what the bomb deactivation code is. So we're going to click through this really quickly. Good to see Dio, you know, getting bodied again. Okay. Here, bomb three. Ready? 
Ha! <laughs> That's hilarious. I misread my C as an L. Love it. I'm my my historic self, my previous self is sabotaging me in the future. It's like you were so upset you had to write the you know, write down the bomb codes anyways. By the time you're actually looking at it, I'll have it so that you can't read your own handwriting. Gotta love it. Okay. Now we should be back on track. That's really funny. Part of it's because I'm reading my notes at an angle, too. Alright. L, X, Q. That was probably very frustrating for you guys. Appreciate your patience. N, M, R. There we go. Good job. It worked! Whew. I sighed and wiped what felt like a bucket's worth of sweat from my forehead. So you knew the password after all? Interesting. Yeah, I guess I did. You heard it in another history? Yeah. Just what happened in that other timeline? Uh, never mind. We don't have time for that. Yeah, no, we gotta we gotta keep moving. There's another bomb you guys don't even know about. How much longer? 18 minutes. Good, we've still got time. Come on, let's go. We've got two more. The number two bomb is next on the list. So we're heading to the control room? Right. No time to waste. Oh, and don't forget the input device. Yeah, that would be, well, literally a fatal mistake. And then she was gone. I hurriedly disconnected the device from the bomb and chased after her. Alright, off we go to the control room for bomb number two. At least they're being efficient about it and started with bomb number three rather than go for bomb number one and then have to come back up for bomb number three. Although I guess from the perspective, no, that's still uh, less efficient. Okay, time for bomb number two. You got it? Yeah, right here. Hook it up. Right. Done. Okay. Hurry it up. Plug in the password. Done. Hey! What the heck? Calm down. You probably just typed it in wrong. Well, if only she knew. No, no way, I'm sure I did it right. Try it again. We don't even have to input the password? Yeah, nothing. That password's no good. Then it's different. Oh, well, yeah, of course it's a different password. All three bombs use different passwords. Yeah, looks like it. Crap. If I slammed her foot against the locker, her face uncharacteristically twisted by anger and frustration. This is bad. What the heck are we going to do? Try and remember it. Did you see or hear anything in another history that could be a password? A different password? You mean, like, a different history from the other one I remember? Yeah. You figured it out there. You just can't remember it very well right now. Remember what happened with the last bomb? This one is just like that. Another history. Another history. 
The password. Do I... Do I know what it is? Can I remember it? I have to. It is really nice to see the, you know, flashing through all the different timelines and some of the, you know, photos from all the fun events we've had throughout the game. Alright, EQD, and then DYR. Hopefully no typos, and TK. Lovely. Darn, this is crazy. So you did know it. Yeah, guess so. Don't scare me like that, alright? Come on, it's not like I was hiding it. I just couldn't remember it at first. Then it just kind of floated up. Or maybe it drifted down. Whatever. The point is, we disarmed the thing. Amazing. You sure don't sound very amazed. Okay. That just leaves us with the last bomb. It's, um... It's in the garden. Right. Let's go take care of it while you're on a roll with these things. Ugh. Make it sound so easy. Well, don't just stand there. Let's go. And while you're on the way, try to remember. She spun around and was gone. I gripped the input device tightly and headed off after her. No use, you know, arriving and then being like, okay, now I have to remember and spend however long it takes to remember, right? Might as well try and remember while you're running. Granted, you might have a little bit more on your mind trying to navigate through this warehouse and all that, but... Here we are in the garden. Finally, the last one. Yeah. How many minutes left? Less than ten. It's okay. We can still make it. Just stay calm, alright? You have the input device? Yeah. There we go. Connected. Okay, go. Go? We've done this twice already. Do you really need a third pep talk? You want me to remember another password, right? Exactly. What else would I be talking about? But... Don't sweat it. You did great the last two times. I'm sure this one will be a cakewalk. Third time's the charm, right? That's, uh, not really how that's used. I'm just worried that lightning's not going to strike twice. Or thrice in this case, I guess. No, I think mine still works. There's nothing to suggest the first and second times aren't charmed, too. Uh, I guess so. <laughs> of all things to spend your last few minutes potentially doing. Whatever, just do it. You're the only person who can. What about you? You can jump to other worlds too, right? Yeah, but I... I can't remember things as well as you, alright? I'm doing the best I can, but... Either I haven't seen the stuff you have, or... I just can't remember it. Maybe we've been going to different worlds. Anyway, yeah, I'll give it a shot. Counting on you. The password, the password, the password. Remember, remember, Sigma. Come on, lightning can strike twice, or even three times. You can do it. You did it before. You did it twice before. This is nothing. You're a champion. <laughs> Come on, Sigma. You can do this. It's so funny how much he's hyping himself up. Pull over the door to your memories. <clears throat> Gotta love it. Alright. BQZ. Followed by 
R, G, is that a J or a T? I believe it's a J. <laughs> and then D, X, R. Nice. Yeah! <laughs> Suck on that, Dio, you arrogant baka. <laughs> Sigma's so triumphant. Ah, that feels good. I haven't felt this satisfied in ages. It's like my whole brain is just swimming in endorphins. I feel like it's just going to melt and dribble out my ears. This is, without a doubt, what heaven feels like. Honestly, I feel like I could fly right now. Heck, I almost wish there was another bomb so I could feel this again. Oof. Oof. Famous last word, Sigma. Isn't this great? Fine? Hey, what's going on? You're really harshing the vibe here. I bet she's gonna be like, I remember there being a zero bomb. Would it really kill you to smile? We just saved everybody. Oh, also, not that I need her or anything, but it sure would be nice to get a thank you or something. Oh, thank you, Sigma. You're the greatest. You're so awesome. I'll dress up in that swimsuit for you just like I promised. I mean, just the swimsuit thing would be fine, really, but... Are you even listening to me? I am. You said you wish there was another bomb, right? Well, I mean, I don't really. I hope you're happy. You're going to get your wish. What? I remembered something, too. Yeah, I knew it was going to be Fi that remembered. Just a glimpse. We must have confronted Dio about the bombs. I'm not sure how, but we got him to tell us about them. Exactly. I've planted four bombs. Have we heard this in any of our timelines? I don't think so. They're the ones numbered one, two, and three, but there's also one more. Bomb number zero. Yeah, I don't think we actually played through this timeline. I felt a cold shiver run down my spine. Suddenly, I remembered it too. I'd heard Dio say those very words in the Floor B warehouse. Did we? I guess so. No. No way. Looks like you remembered it too. Yeah. How much time do we have? Crap! We've only got four minutes. Well, hurry up! We need to get to the Zero Bomb. Right. But we, do we even know where it is? I yanked the input device out of the bomb and turned to chase after. What are you just standing there for? Go, show me where the bomb is. What? Are you, are you telling me you don't know where it is? You've got to be kidding me. How the heck would I know where the bomb is? Oh, oh crap. You don't know? She bit her lip and nodded. Darn it. What the heck are we supposed to do now? We can't deactivate the bomb if we don't know where the darn thing is. Calm down. Just calm down. You need to think, Sigma. There has to be a clue somewhere. Pretend you're Dio. You need to hide the bomb. Is it under that statue thing? In the garden? Where would you hide something important? Hide something important. Right. Hide. Hide. If I was Dio, where would I hide? Ah! Hmm. In one of the AB rooms, maybe? Something like that? I don't know. Sigma, wait! Where are you going? Don't follow me. Go find the others. Idiot. Do you really think I'd do that? I could hear her following me, but there was no time to argue. Instead, I focused on my goal. There was still time. I don't think we actually know where it is. Where would Dio hide it, though, is the question. Hmm. I don't actually know.
All I can think is maybe in one of the AB rooms or something related to them, given that where he put the knife or tried to hide the knife. Some place he thought was safe, but in fact isn't. Yep, there it is. Here? Yeah. Should be between these AV rooms. Good, I was right. How much time do we have left? About a minute. Crap! Hurry! I'm hurrying as fast as I can! Time to type. The input device was plugged in. I was ready to go. Now I just had to enter the password. But what was the password? I couldn't shake the feeling that I'd already used up my third time charm. Still, I had to try. I shook my head and concentrated. Gotta really dig deep here, Sigma. Alright. L, X, A, Q, N, S... I wonder if there are different game overs or like ending screens for messing up at each of these individual bombs. If so, let me know, guys, because I'd actually be really curious to see what those are. GDQ. Everybody shocked. It... it stopped. Yeah. Fai and I crumpled to the ground. The adrenaline that it sustained is suddenly gone. How did you know it was here? Did you see it in another history? It's hard to explain. The short version is that Dio hid something here in another timeline. I guess maybe he'd put the bomb here too. Pretty good guess. Yeah. Well, you did it. So, thanks. Oh, I don't need any thanks. Just, uh... Just what? About that swimsuit you promised. What? What on earth are you talking about? Awkward. <laughs> Chromatic doors have opened. Five minutes remain until chromatic doors close. This is bad. The white doors have opened. We need to hurry. Everyone else is waiting for us in the Floor B warehouse. Yeah, we gotta go. Now we actually have another escape room, right? Um, what about that swimsuit? What the heck are you going on about? Just go. Before I could protest, she turned and ran toward the magenta door. I sighed and headed off after her. I ran into the warehouse to find everyone else already there. They'd done as Fi asked, and brought the three unconscious members of our party back to the doors. Fi and I shared a quick glance, then headed over toward them. Oh, thank goodness, I'm so glad you're safe! So, did you disable the bombs? Yeah. I kind of done it in my sheep. Don't you mean in your sleep? Oh my. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah. Good job, you guys. No need to thank me. Although, I mean, if you insist, I uh, wouldn't mind a little swimsuit time with Sigma, seriously. What? Huh? You're disgusting. One minute remains until chromatic doors close. We need to hurry. Everybody knows who's in or everybody know who's in their group? Yeah, I'm set. Alright. Then let's move. At Semyoji's command, we broke off into our teams. Kay carried Pork on his back and dragged Dio along the floor and through the white door on the left. 
Clover and Luna carried Alice through the door on the right, and Tenmyoji Fai and myself ran through the center door. Ten seconds remain until chromatic doors close. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Chromatic door is closing. I'm curious to see what our what our final room is, right? What the final escape room is actually going to be. Where are we? Q? Q? Literally just a room labeled Q? What the heck? It's just an entirely white room. Well, what the heck? Yeah, my thoughts exactly, Sigma. Are you kidding me? There's nothing here. Well, there are doors. The one we came in. And that one, which I'm assuming is the exit. Yep, figures. Won't budge. The plaque on the door just said Q. Q. What the heck's that supposed to mean? Hm. Really? Now someone's just being a baka. Huh? Nothing. Maybe the Q is for question. Hmm. Well, I guess it is a very questionable room. If there was a deck of cards here, maybe the queue would be for queen. That's a quality guess right there. Hmm. Right. Well, we need to get out of here. And I'm glad we honestly have some of the smartest minds here. For arguably the toughest room we've encountered yet. Let's find a way to get the door open. We also need to find the star keys. I've got enough BP to open the door, but you guys need to play the AB game some more. Yeah. We still need a few more points. If we can get those star keys, we should be able to play the AB game as many times as we need to. So... It's just a matter of time until we get the points we need. Right. Well, let's get started then. Good. Okay. Wow. Wow. What, a, what an escape room for the final room. You know, the ultimate challenge to test all the skills we've learned throughout the entirety of the game. I'm very excited, and I hope you guys are looking forward to exploring this Q room just as much as I am. But of course, we're going to be exploring this room and hopefully escaping from it in the next episode. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. This was a ton of fun, uh, unfortunately having to betray Luna in that other timeline. But then of course working our way through the bombs, working together with Fi was plenty of fun. I unfortunately think that we're going to actually have to go through this dialogue. Temiotri says, okay, what are we supposed to do here? The room's empty. Because I can't access the menu. <laughs> Lovely. Fi says, wait, do you hear something? What is going on? I'm, I'm trying to end the episode here, guys. What? It's like some grid-like room. It actually, for those of you that have played, reminds me of Street Fighter V. But, huh? Well, how much you want to bet it has something to do with that? Guess we should go uh, have a look. Okay, now we can finally end things off, and in the next episode, we're going to finally explore this Q room, which I'm very excited to give it a go. So I hope you guys are looking forward to it just as much as I am. But until that next episode, this has been Night Zero, and this mission is complete.